Peter is in this prison and the Bible says that when the angel of the Lord begins to come they find Peter sleeping in this prison. Now we must keep something in mind about Peter. Peter by nature is very aggressive man. Peter by nature is that man that when Jesus was sleeping in a storm, Peter got so upset with the rest of the disciples, came to Jesus, woke him up and says, Jesus, how dare you can sleep when we are perishing? He accused Jesus of being careless in the storm because Jesus slept in the storm. Now Peter sleeps in his own storm. The very thing he accused Jesus of, he's doing himself now. It is not natural for Peter to be peaceful in the place of chaos. Peter in the place of chaos goes ballistic. Peter in the place of chaos goes worried on steroids, afraid, anxious. But you see Peter could literally put a countdown on his iPhone and count hours and minutes before his head would be removed and Peter has the audacity to sleep. Why? Because Peter's faith finally matured. Peter is finally becoming less like Peter and more like Jesus. Before when Peter wants to get something done he cuts people's ears off. Before when Peter gets something done he cusses people out. When Peter wants something done I mean he was aggressive. He is that man that's always full of passion and emotion and you see facing his death and Peter is taking a nap. A faith that caused him to sleep. A faith that caused him to rest and I think during that night Peter learned something that it took him a while to learn and it's going to take you a while to learn as well is that peace is not absence of conflict. Peace is the presence of God. Peace is not when everything is good in your life. Peace is when God is good and he never leaves your side. And if Peter can sleep in prison facing a death sentence and Jesus can sleep in a storm facing death, you can sleep in your situation not out of carelessness but out of full complete trust that God is under control and God has got a whole universe in the palm of his hand. He sure can handle your life. Can somebody say amen? amen. The faith that can sleep in a storm is the faith that can speak to the storm. The reason why Jesus could speak to the storm is because Jesus could sleep in the storm. The reason why Jesus could stop the storm is because Jesus could rest in the storm. Jesus got up and said peace be still and peace that was inside of him was the peace that filled the storm. Whatever you're carrying is the only thing that you can release and the real faith is not one only you can pray. It's interesting that the church was fully awakened in prayer during this time. Typically and naturally the church is more sleeping. The church is a prayerful church but at the same time you must understand the church is made out of individuals and who all are busy, who all have their lives and they don't have time to come every single day to pray. But now we see the church is praying every single moment. Constant prayer the Bible says is offered. It means the church is fully awake. Faith woke them up but the same faith that woke up the church puts the man to sleep. Because it's not natural for church to be so aggressive and something that is not so aggressive becomes aggressive and someone who is aggressive becomes calm. Because faith makes you act unlike you. You are by nature maybe worried. By nature you are the person who is so stressed out. But when faith kicks in, you become unlike you. You become not like you. You become unrecognizable part of you. Why? Because you are maturing in faith. In the beginning your faith will not be like that. In the beginning your faith will be like Peter's faith. Wake up Jesus we are dying. That's gonna be your faith but it's okay. But the bad part is when that faith remains like that for 20 years. There has to be a miracle in your faith life. You know the greatest miracle is not only what happened when Peter got out supernaturally from the prison. It's the fact that we meet Peter in the prison sleeping. That is a miracle in itself. And like Bishop Andrew he was saying that the miracle that God wants to do, God wants to change us and through that he wants to change the world. As you are waiting for God to break you out of your prison, can I remind you something? While you are there, learn how to find God peace in the chaos. Learn how to find God's rest when everything is going crazy. Learn how to sleep while you're waiting for your wife Adam because maybe in your sleep God will do something that you could not do when you were awake. 
we must learn to find rest in God when everything is breaking crazy around us we must learn that rest and peace is not by product of a good life rest and peace is by product of a good relationship with the good God who has good things for you in Jesus name